Hi guys, quick uh, video here. This is Richard Rowe from True North Service Management Solutions and the video is really about if you're running Trackit 2018 Release 3 and you're looking to upgrade to 2019 Release 1. A um, couple of changes in the new release for Trackit 2019, namely around um, a couple of, sort of features which I can show you on screen right now. Um, the web services API. So if you are looking to interact track it with uh, other applications or within your organizations, there's an API available now in 2019. And the second big change there is the mobile application, which enables you to have uh, a mobile app with track it uh, for your technicians. Uh, there'll be more features probably in a later revision. But uh, just going to assume that you are running 2018 free, as you can see in my um, add remove programs, I've got release three there. And then if you're also using client management for track it, then you'll see there it's on 12.7. So once you download uh, with the new version of track it, uh, which was released obviously January last year, uh, it's just a single file now, which does both your fresh installs and your upgrades. So if you're already running an existing version, then it will detect that and then upgrade this as opposed to running a fresh installation. So no no more two files as we used to have in 11.x. And when you first run it, you get the welcome screen. So let's just go through just so you're aware of what happens. So again, pretty straightforward setup wizard. Just click in next on there. Then you've got the, the terms which uh, you, uh, you accept. And then coming on to there, it will then tell you that you are um, running a previous version of uh, of track it in the uh, in, in the new track it and it will just simply say would you like to upgrade the application server and upgrade the database and as you can see there it's not going to do anything to client management uh, but it will do an upgrade to track it 2018 and move it to 2019 so let's click next again and again this one has already detected my uh, my database there, so it's uh, it's on an instance uh, on this particular machine. And then it's uh, it's noticed that there are people that are connected to that database, so it will close that out and force a close. Uh, so just be aware if you're doing this in in, uh, in in work time, there may be people there, so obviously get uh, people notified. And uh, as we always sort of mention please take a backup before doing anything like this in case you have to roll back. Uh, as you can see there, there's the warning sign to say this was last done. Please uh, please proceed with the upgrade or make a backup first. So as I say, we strongly recommend to always do that as, as part of uh, best practice. So I'm going to force this one. This is my test rig. Uh, I will be doing some videos there to show you how you can set up some little test servers just to get yourself uh, up and running in an environment. If you haven't got a test, uh, it is quite popular for uh, some of these sort of smaller businesses using track it not to have a test environment and go straight to production uh, 2019 now. So, you know, best to try and have something there just to sort of just check and get a feel for things before um, implementing such changes. And as I say, I will do some YouTube videos just to show you how you can have a cost effective test environment. So they will be coming. Okay, so put in the passwords. Hopefully I remember all of these passwords. And as you can see, we proceed there, it stopped services that's associated with, with 2018 and explained it's going to install So track it's going through the various um, the various of, uh, preparation prior to that. Uh, we probably started this uh, a couple of minutes ago. So just to give you a bit of an idea of the sort of time it takes to to uh, run an upgrade.
And while that's going through the, the, the preparation for, for the upgrade, let's, let's just jump back again into, into the documentation. So um, a lot of people don't always know where to go sometimes when it comes to uh, locating documentation for track. It's, it's all on your BMC uh, portal. So you have your obviously your personal profile, which will have all of your documentation, um, your license files, your your application for for track it. Uh, but there are easy ways to get there, and um, it would be simply a case of heading over to trackit.com. And when you go to trackit.com, you've got the link there for resources, and then support for track it. Support for track it. Will bring you into this area and as you can see there's a little drop down box that takes you through the various versions so as I say plenty of documentation for everything uh, obviously the latest and its predecessors and obviously informs you of the uh, end of version dates etc and then bouncing into there you can then see uh, the various lists now these are very consistently structured so easy to follow and uh, it obviously starts off with the release notes just to let you know what's in the new version uh, what it also does is it will detect, there we are, it's taking place now. What it will also do is detect um, any kind of known and corrected issues. So obviously worth looking at that uh, if you've had some issues with the uh, the previous version. Um, if you are attempting to install Trackit for the first time and you are coming from 11.4, then there are a few key areas. As I said, obviously, try and really read as much as possible. But some of the areas of interest in particular is you're getting started, you're planning. So the system requirements here, that will obviously tell you the spec you should be having for your server. So very, very useful. Uh, in particular, one thing I find very useful as well is the matrix to show you the differences from 11.x to 20xx. And clicking into here, this will show you the release of 11.x and the various releases of Trackit in its new state. Now, it's heading sort of the key features or modules here on the left hand side where they are in 11.x. And as you may uh, or may not know, the new version was released initially with the help desk, the inventory, the self service, and the solutions. Uh, but things like change management didn't come until release two, purchase and release three, and so forth. So please check this matrix because this will give you an idea of when it's a good time to start considering your migration. Uh, the last thing we would want you to be doing is using the library or the training module extensively and then discover that when you install Trackit 2019, it's not currently there. As you can see, these uh, are currently slated for, um, for, for later versions. So as I say, please review this, and if it's you know you, you're one release off a potential um, feature that sort of aligns with you, maybe it's worth installing in a test environment then, just to get a feel for it. Uh, again, please give True North Service Management a call: zero one two one six six three seventeen sixty three. I'm more than happy to discuss this with you and take you on a, a quick hours overview, just so you can have a look at the differences between the uh, the two versions. Uh, so, as I say, more than happy to do that. Uh, the other area I would say is if you are migrating, this is obviously a key area. Some people want to bring their data over, some don't. The migrating to track it. This is a very, very important page because what this will do is it will show you stuff, what will come over um, and what won't. So there's some key considerations, uh, what you should be doing before you begin. And then it will go into data that is migrated and cleverly tell you each particular area, like priorities, categories, etc., and so forth. When you come down to the bottom of the page, what it will do is also tell you what isn't migrated. So you can see there's some key things there, uh, namely around the policies you're using in 11.4, so event policies, skill routing policies. And the reason for that is because it's a new architecture with, with 20XX, and uh, it's very exciting because you've got the new business rules engine, and that workflow allows you to be a lot more creative and give you a lot more functionality and flexibility when it comes to creating criteria and performing certain actions. And that's not only just tied to the help desk module, it goes across the board in 20XX, so you can run business rules on the asset management purchasing. And I anticipate 
any new modules that came come into Tracky XX, you'll be able to perform it there. So as I say, there is a trade-off, but uh, it is a very worthwhile trade-off. The migration tool will also do some reporting. So if there are things like your skill routing policies, uh, you'll get reports during the migration tool process that will tell you this is how you're currently configured track it 11.4 so when it comes to configuring 20xx you will be able to um, uh, you know align it with your your current your current processes and procedures okay it's almost coming to a close um, some things I would also say because I've noticed this a couple of times now with customers who have um, attempted the the migration and got themselves into the new version. The first thing they're doing is they're jumping into the configuration and, 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 and rightly so to a degree. Uh, but what they're doing is they're configuring Active Directory to pull in users from the directory into 20, uh, 2018 or 2019. But the issue is then they, if they haven't performed the migration first, then the migration may pull over your existing users so it could cause duplication so please make sure you read these notes uh, take in everything into consideration do the migration first and then the configuration of 20xx can be done thereafter okay so we're coming to a close with this uh, upgrade to the latest version so we'll just see this one out uh, we're currently in nearly 10 minutes of this so as you say it's not uh, too long of a, of a process to do this it's more about the the preparation and the planning around that And while we're waiting for that to wrap up, let's have a look at some more of the, the documentation. So we can see there's documentation there as well for how you can use it for technicians, how you use it for self-service. Uh, there are some significant differences between the two products, but uh, again, uh, track it stays true to its identity to try and be consistent throughout the modules. So if you are using the help desk, you should be able to jump into the purchasing or asset management uh, quite comfortably and get the uh, the gist. Uh, Self-service has got a couple of new features in there as well. So while staying true to that um, simple, clean, easy to use uh, look and interface, uh, it does have the little features that you can actually sort of view tickets uh, within your team. Uh, based on department or location. So if you are a department manager or a location manager, you'll be able to see tickets on behalf uh, that have been raised on behalf of the team as well. Again, there's some administration uh, information and we can see there with web services, the uh, new, new API in the release, there's some documentation there uh, at your fingertips to, to take into account. Now, normally with a video, I would sort of pause and then go back into it at a later date, but I did really want to keep this one flowing uh, just simply to show you the length of time when it comes to taking it from release 3 of 2018 into release 1 of 2019.
Again, we've got some troubleshooting stuff here, so viewing with log files. And that will also give you some information there and, and again some error messages. While we're closing out on this upgrade, uh, once again, True North Service Management Solutions Limited have uh, been associated with Trackit very, through its various um, company transitions, obviously starting out with uh, Blue Ocean into Intuit IT Solutions, uh, Numara Software, and then onto BMC Software. So, wealth of experience here, uh, obviously been associated with over 20 years, back to, uh, to release one. So if there is any assistance you require, then I have a small team here that can provide you with some services for migrating, implementation, configuration, training, uh, general consultancy. And please give us a call on 0121-663-1763 or you can email sales at truenorthsm.com. All the information there in the little ticker in the bottom. And the migration is coming towards the end now, just doing this last sort of compiling, configuring around the, uh, the IIS. Starting back up the services. And as you can see, the process is almost completed. And it's already updated it in the programs and features to show we've got 2019 and release 20.19.01.084. When we go back into client management, we can still see it's at 12.7. And this pretty much concludes the upgrade process from 2018 to 2019. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this was useful. And uh, if there are any questions, once again, details at the bottom. Uh, please call 0121-663-1763 or email sales at truenorthsm.com. Thank you for watching.